Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Most important video like shading the Venn diagram is very important part. Uh, in this video, I will only explain the which areas are important for like shading or like which areas for A complement, A, B complement, A union B, A intersection B, and so on. So it's a complete Venn diagram. This rectangle area is called the universal set. And this, if I suppose this is set A and this is set B. Now, what area, like if I divide the area into three parts, this is one, two, three, and this area is four. There are four areas. What is like uh, area for A? Area for A is one and two. Area for B is two and three. And when you want to find what is the number of elements or the element like A union B. So A union B means you're talking about all three areas. One, sorry, this one, this one, and this one. So if this is suppose, if this is, I suppose this is uh, A, B, C, and D. So A union B will be A plus B plus C. So the number of A union B will be this. If you want to find number of elements in A intersection B. So first of all, what do you mean by intersection? Intersection means in A and B, which area is the common area? The common area is this one. So right answer is B. If you're talking about A, the right answer is A and B. If you want to shade A, so this A and B, this is a, the area. And talking about B is this area and this area, two and three. When you're talking about A complement, A complement means universal set minus A. So A complement means what I will do without A, like A without A, which area is the required, like region for A complement? You have only this area and this area because this is cancel out, this is cancel out. So number of elements, if you want to find, this should be three and four. This area is for A complement. If you're talking about B complement, so B complement means this B will not there, this B will not there. This is the required region and outside is the required region, now, like region one and four. If you want to find the number of elements or you want to find the area of A complement intersection B, this is very important. First of all, which area is for A complement? The area for A complements are three and four, three and four. And we need to find the intersection between, okay, and which areas are for B? B is having two and three. So it means your final area for A complement intersection B is like here, you can see which area, which area is common, uh, three is common. So right answer is three because I will shade only this part. This is the result for A intersection or A complement intersection B. If you want to find, uh, suppose A in complement union B, then which area is your result? Let's see. For A complement, A complement we have here three and four, three and four. This is not the working, this is the rough, like uh, you can use the right side of the page. And a union means uh, B's areas are two and three. So it means three, four, and three is also there. So it means all together two, three, and four. So which area I will shade? I will shade two, three, and four. Two, three, and the four. This is very important part of the sets to shade in a Venn diagram. This is, okay. What about if I give A, intersection B complement. So number of like, what are the area for A? Area for A is one and two. Intersection, area for B complements are one and four. So we have to decide first of all, which areas for A, which areas for B, A complement, B complement, because in A, B, we can have only A complement, B complement, and itself A and B, nothing. 
So which area is common for this only one? So I will write the one area. So I will shade only only this part, which is here. So I mean, this is finished the first with A and B. Second example, uh, like we have uh, universal set here. This is universal set, complete rectangle. This is A, this is B, this is C. Okay, I want to decide the area. This area is 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, and this is 8. There are 8 areas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ah, okay, there are 8 areas. Okay. If they ask to like which part will be shaded when we find only A complement? A complement means except A, except A, 1, 2, 3, 4. These four areas will be shaded like 2, 6, 7, and 8. 2, 6, 7, 8. Please, these are not the elements, these are the area I'm talking about. For example, okay, what we can have, we can have A, B, C, we can have A complement, we can have B complement and C complement. So first of all, I have to decide the areas. Which areas for B complement now? B complement means only B without B, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I write here 1, uh, 5, 7, and 8. And what about C complement? C complement means except C, 1, these areas, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 8. Okay, let's see. So first question, when you are talking about A union B and intersection C, which area is the shaded part here? Let's see. Uh, there are two possibilities. I uh, normally I use this numbers method, or I, I use sometimes the color method. Okay, I I want, want to use the color method for A union B. Which uh, area is for A union B? A and B means this one complete A and B each and everything except the area of C is coming or not. There is no problem. This is A union B. For C, I want to use a uh, different color, green color. For C. C is itself this area, this area, this area, and this area. This is C's area. A union B, I have used yellow color. And for C, I have used green color. Now just observe one thing. Which area is common in both the colors? The common is this one, this one, and this one. So right answer is I will shade only this part. Like I will shade. These three areas, this one, this one, and this one. It's, it's like if you want to use the numbers, you can use A union B. I have to use all the numbers. It's like you can practice for it, but this is the easiest method is I use pencil and eraser. Okay. This we have done. Next is I'm using A intersection B union with C. Let's see. A intersection B, I want to use uh, yellow color. A intersection B. In A intersection B, no problem when we have C, there is no problem, but we are just talking about A intersection B. So C is also coming, there is no problem. Don't worry about the C. A and B, the common area is this. Okay, I want to use green color for C. For C itself, which is C, C is here, C is here, C is here, and C is here. And I want to find the union. Please remember when we have the same question with intersection. With intersection, this is the right answer. This is the right answer for intersection. For union, for union, I will write all the areas like this one, this one. I want to use different color. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, wherever I have this mark, this is this part. 
So if I use question number nine, the first part, let's check. I have taken one example of question number nine. First of all, uh, if I just think about like R complement, a P, Q, and R. R complement means without R, everything is your result. So it means this is this is and this three three areas are there for R complement. And if I use different color for P intersection Q, P intersection Q is this color and this one, this area. Now we're talking about intersection means which area which are common. So I will remove this one, this one, this one, and this is the required region I have to shade. I mean, it's very easy now. If I just moving to part B of question number nine, let's see. In part B, question number nine, uh, I would use for A, which acre like area, this is A, this is A, this is A, this is A. And I've used different color for A intersection C, for B intersection C. So B intersection C means I will use this area and this area. And what we are doing actually, we are doing, we are doing union. So union means wherever you have marked, all will be your results. So the right answer is all the areas. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one too, and this one. Union means everything. Intersection means only this in like this part, but we are talking about union. Next is question number nine, part C. First of all, decide. Uh, if I talk about C, the C is this area, this area, this area, and this area C. And if you're talking about B complement, so B complement, okay, first of all, if I work with B complement is better, I think so. B complement is, except B, everything is your result. This one, this one, and this one is B complement. And A is, A is this one. This one, this one, this one. These are A areas. And what is common? Intersection is what is common in both the areas. In both the areas, we have these two like common. This one and this one. So this is a new result. This is a result of the bracket one. Now C is C is this part. C is this one is C. This one is C. This one is C. And this one is C. I'm talking about black color and the blue color now. Union means. Uh, Black color is two areas and this is blue areas and union means everything you have to write. So it means the complete answer is the complete this area, this area, this area, this area, and this area. So by this way, we have done this, how we can do the shaded, like shading in Venn diagram when we have two sides or the three sides. So if anything, this video is useful for you. Please like my video, comment, and share with your friends. Uh, and thank you so much. Have a nice day.